Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And if you are looking for a software that can simulate where your phone is, even though that I'm not on that location precisely, then this is a great tool. What I want to share with you is not so much what you can do with the software, but what I did love in it in terms of the technical aspect, which is really well made. Now, just in case you are looking for a budget key for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, you can get Windows 10 Pro at roughly seven US dollars or Windows 11 at 13 US dollars. So don't forget to check the link down below, just in case you want to check that out. Now, talking about this software, it's called AnyGo from i2. They have a lot of softwares. This is one that I really find interesting. There is a free trial version that you can test it out to see if it works as expected. So you can download and test it for yourself. Now, first step, download, install. And once we have installed it, uh, there is a disclaimer that asks or states that this software is meant to be in a good way for your own protection and not to arm others or to provoke anything bad. And in this particular video, I do imagine that there are a lot of situations that we can do that are not targeted at good intentions. Honestly, I don't see any. I see the use of this for some kind of games, which we are going to take a look on Pokemon Go, for example. Now, once we have everything, we just need to connect our phone to the computer. It's available for Windows and Mac, by the way. So once we have that, we will have this on screen, a map. And then, of course, at this moment, I'm recording my phone screen as well at the same time so that you guys can check it out right over there. Now, it's easy as this. It will give me a location, which honestly, it's not where I am. Now, I can go, if I press right over here, I could reset or I can go near the river, which is a great location. So if I press go, bam, there we go. It just disappeared. If I press here on the map, it will show that I am near the river. And as you can see, I'm not, I am still here at home. Now we can use uh, Google Maps or we can use the Maps or any other app that uses this kind of technology for localization and so on and so forth. So at this moment we are looking at Google Maps, but we are using the uh, Maps application right over here. Now let me show you the uh, favorite way of moving around, at least for me, but this is something that you should try. It's this one right over here where we'll select the point A to B. So if I press here and if I select, let's say this place here, and if I press go, uh, before that, let me adjust the speed right over here because we can go faster. I will simulate that I'm on a car. So let's say 60 kilometers per hour. If I press go, it will ask me if I want A, B, A. This just means that I will start here, go to B, and then if I want, I will return to A, which is the more realistic thing to do. But there's also a other option, which is A, B, A, B. So I will go from here to the B location and then I will jump to the A and go to the B location. That is not so realistic, but it's a possibility that we might want to do. So in this particular case, no, loop times just one. So I will go to A, B and will stop. And if I press go, it will uh, go and center my location and it will start on moving according to the speed. I did select variable speed, which is more realistic. So it at this moment is using those variable speeds and we can see right over here, 57, 67. So it's uh, more realistic. Now slow down to 60s and then uh, it goes faster. So the software does everything uh, by its own with its own algorithms. And one of the things that I really enjoy is that although I did select point B right over here, the software will go through the route that it finds better, like any um, maps application that we want to use in terms of localization. So this is just awesome. Now I have made some tests and it works really awesome as you can see right over here. So let's stop. There is an option that I can use here. I can just pause it and then I can close. And are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Now, there is another way of moving, which I really enjoy, probably my second favorite. And if I slow down the speed and I want to zoom in, for example, what I can do is I can, uh, as you can see there, I can 
just change the direction that I am. So if I press the play, it will start moving according to this speed here and I can control it real time where I'm going. So this is really cool. This is my second way of moving and we will see it in Pokemon Go in just a few moments how it works. It's really, really awesome. So I just need to do this and targeting uh, uh, where I want to go. So let's stop this. We also have another option here, which is the uh, multi-spot route. Now this multi-spot route is really interesting, but it has one flaw which is unlike the two uh, A to B, which will draw a route through the roads and things like that. This one right over here now. If I select this spot here, it will go on a straight line. So this will be the downside that I did find. But it has an advantage, which is the possibility to... Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Possibility to do a route. Uh, exactly as I want. So I can go here and then I can go here and there and there and draw this um, kind of route which will be exactly what I want and not what the software uh, wants. So at this moment I've got 10 points and if I press, let's increase the speeds and if I press go, close the path. No, I don't go and there it goes. It will start and it will follow exactly the paths that I did draw. So this is really, really awesome. Now let's stop as because you already seen, let's stop it and press yes. And we also have this option here, although this option is very similar to this one, because if I press here and select this point, if I press go, it will take me there. And this will basically will do the exact same thing. If I press go, it will auto jump after cooldown. Now this cooldown, as I was reading, it has to do with the games like uh, Pokemon Go and so on and so forth. So if I press go, it will jump and then it will have a cooldown if I'm running the game. By the way, let's take a look if I'm running or not. No, but let's put Pokemon Go right over here. Okay, so Pokemon Go uh, right over here so we can move around and see what's there. And I, I believe that this will turn some people to lazy because in real life, if I want to capture these Pokemons and do these sort of things, I actually need to go there. <laughs> but right over here, you can be a little bit lazy and do all sorts of things. Now, one of the movements that I would probably suggest for this would be either this one right over here, where we can control exactly where we are moving, um, and the direction that we are taking and we are looking the other way around. So if I want to turn right right now, I can move right over here. And then, of course, we can uh, capture those Pokemons and things like that. This is just awesome, this soft in this kind of situation. Now, there we go. Another Pokemon, which I don't know the name. Now, if I press stop uh, and if I go to this one right over here, I can just select the way that I want, press go and go and as we can see it will draw the uh, route and it will be doing everything by its own so that is just great and then we can uh, while we are walking we can just capture the pokemons and do whatever now we are talking about pokemon go but there are several games that we can use and on iTool uh, website, there states a few games, some of them that I don't know, and I don't play games, as you know. So this is something new to me, which in terms of technology, once again, I do believe that it's just awesome. In terms of the usability, that's something that you should try and see for yourself. Now, let's stop this one and see what else we have right over here. So we have a lot of options, but most of those that I do believe that are the best are these that I already showed to you. So let's press pause and stop and yes. Okay, so now we have seen the way that we can move. We also can import uh, routes so that we can import the route and press play and it will do the route that we want. And it also has right over here the historical routes. If I press here, it will show me the places that I've been. And if I want to put uh, one of them as favorite, for example, uh, I can press go to that location. So if it's an area that I do a lot of times, I can just go here, 
press go and it will take me there saving me the trouble of going through the map and selecting that so this is uh, another thing that it's awesome these are the favorites that we would select right over here and then we have the reset we also have an option which is i'm only using an iphone right now but if i want i can use multiple devices and this software will allow to do so which is also great here um, it's just my location and then we have the zoom in and zoom out and basically guys this is it now in terms of the pokemon go i would suggest that there are a few rules that the pokemon go app is smart enough to detect if the speed is realistic or not so i too also suggest a few uh, behaviors so that you don't lose your account because of cheating because honestly this is cheating the software is great but to play the game this is actually cheating that's the word now regardless of that my opinion is that in terms of the technical aspect the software is awesome let me know down below in the comment section what you feel about the software and if possible try it out and see for yourself uh, it's just a awesome experience in terms of the software itself hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Werther George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one